Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Little Misfortune. Previously, we had a fun time being so unfortunate. Benjamin, where do you go? Oh, why is there a tuft of fur down here? Oh no, is this Benjamin? Do I have to summon him back? Is this the portal? No. There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? I can't reach it. I'm a little lady, you know. Yeah, so now we're the only narrator. Uh-huh. Such a clever little lady. Good job, Miss Fortune. Unlike the other one, I don't plan to kill you. I think. Time to use my ninja skills. What a bad crack. Be quiet. This is a ninja mission. Benjamin, are you here? So it was Benjamin placing this, but Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. Yeah, I was gonna say. Although I don't think that stops uh if it can crush light pulse with its mind, I don't think that's gonna stop it. Hmm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. It's not going that yet. Hmm, a picture of a key. Interesting. That's the key. My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Hmm, a real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> a secret button. It feels weird not having a comforting evil voice. Push it. Alright then, I push the button. Is that the portal? Sounds like a forest. That was easy. Alright, time to find Bangy. Oh. Fuck. Oh, that was unfortunate. Almost like we I smashed her head in the quarter. Better when I got the eternal happiness. Okay, Miss Fortune. Let's finish this. Get up, Miss Fortune. You are stronger than you think. You've been knocked down before. Did you let that stop you? Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. Because... Because... Because you're fortunate. You are the little lady, Miss Fortune! <laughs> so I went back and checked really quick. So it's not the same realm or demon, although it's obviously a very similar motif and design. Although the, the cliché... Either deer kind of goat motif is, you know, fairly common in fiction for demons and stuff like that. Uh, this is a weird universe. So who knows how many things there are in this world. Okay, I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. <laughs> Deer. Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Mm, dream come true. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> yeah, 
Benjamin? Is that Benjamin's bag? Benjamin? Are you around? He must be in trouble. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm oh, God, very gross. disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time and that's very sucky. I knew I couldn't trust you. What are you talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in his diary. All of it. You're the one taking the children. And I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Damn, mine Stop bullets. That. Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? He is really not wanting to be talking about Freaking that fox. Monster. Let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. At the end of the road, you'll realize you already signed the deal. Oh, hi. <gasps> is that Benjamin as a baby? Oh, <laughs> so cute. He likes his uh, Walkman. Oh, this is really mysterious. Center to see this. Set is technology. As the alter reality forms in hand the concept of time, new realms outside the cons constituted three, five realms as essential existence have appeared. After the ultra war, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm referred to as the beyond. Beyond is, in simple terms, a place of extreme absurdity of no logical laws of physics. We can't allow such beings inside the free at the moment, since the foundation of reality is based in the energy and ethical values of the ultra reality. Before the Ultra War, the Beyond is still misunderstood realm. We haven't yet found the pieces that connect it with a logical manner that few parents recognize are the behaviors of some visitors, also known as parasites. They normally enter the third reality, aka Pandora, and seek fresh meat to lure into the Beyond. And that's why we need protectors. The protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the Ultra Reality. Protectors will help victims and guide them into the center CD. The guidance part in this book must be full of great responsibility. Never skip a step. For each victim, the protector returns to Center City, the protector will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step 1. The protector must locate the victims and the parasite. Let's see more go. Value the victims in need of assistance, if so, proceed to Step 2. The victim assistance checklist, the victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. The victim is already dead, but doesn't realize it. The victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real. The victim sympathizes with the parasite. The parasite? Deforms reality into absurdity. Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victim to play dangerous games. That's why this whole place is weirder than usual. It shapeshifts into a human-animal creature. It quickly learns about the environment, language, and culture not an issue for this parasite. Large flocks of black birds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Morgo, giving him an overview of his playing ground. Paint? I like to paint. Protector can example write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. It can lead to inevitable, irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step 3 immediately. Step 3 prefer direct contact with... With the what? Now I will never know. Great. Oh god. Is Mirko there? No, Benjamin. He can't do direct contact. He can only just kind of guide us. Alright. I guess I'll take the train back home. Is there anything behind there? Did I miss something? 
Now when Where? I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. What fan? Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Waiting, okay, waiting. I'm gonna talk to myself. Hi, myself. So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin. And now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who talks to a princess version of themselves occasionally. Hero? Chunking of source. Pretty chunk. Okay, color in. Yeah, yeah. Oh look, it's, it's a magical crayon that automatically colors in everything. This is amazing. No effort evolved. Just strike the crayon and it automatically does all the work for you. Damn casuals. Can't even crayon their own drawings anymore. Like, yeah, you've drawn enough. Hey, let me at least finish it. You think you can escape from me, misfortune? more. Now you're radical, Mr. Fasaurus. I guess you need to get like a certain percentage of it done. It's like, that's good. Calpasaurus. There. Done. Uh. Hello, Hiro. I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. But I don't think it's a voice anymore. I'm sure it's the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. 
Have you ever heard voices in your head? Um. I know Hira. What does it mean? It's the monster. No. Leave Hira alone. That means help. Help, hero. Had to kill the Japanese kid, Daniel. Well, he was already technically dead. He I killed him again. Hero again. I wonder what the monster did to him. Uh, now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Uh. Any secrets over here? Nope. No secrets to be had. Was warning me all the time, but I couldn't see it. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. That's where I am. Oh. At least I had fun at Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I'm gonna tell mommy about it. World needs a plan. Ugh. Yeah, so is the mask thing? Is that part of Burgo's uh, powers? Or is it just everyone just really weird and hip? Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Well, if that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. Don't trust anyone with emoji faces or eyes. Oh, wait. I hope it's not something stupid like we've been dead the entire time. That's why everyone ignores us. No, but the zoo guy paid attention to us. It's probably more of symbolism for, uh... The souls. Oh, there's a lot of crows out huh. here. Where's the car? Is Daddy gone again? Oh, my sparkles will save the day. Watch, watch it well. It's like, what are you gonna do to me? I'm an all powerful, otherworldly being. Oh, yeah? Pocket sparkles. Bah! They're everywhere! They're in every socket, every possible hole in my body. Oh, and all of my carpets, too. I'll take the dry cleaner forever to get those sparkles out. We got red lights. I like them. Mommy, I'm back. Hello? This looks unusually clean, actually. What's that sound? Benji? Has time? Has time been non linear? Yeah, there's no furniture or anything. Hello? Mommy? Bangi? What happened here? Congratulations. You reached the end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. I don't even care anymore. Of course you care. 
You know your mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yes, I guess you're right. Good. Good. No, don't listen to Ready him. Ready for a new game? If I play along, will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will. But only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love my new game. Try not to die. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? What? No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the way. <clears throat> Wait. Stop talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. Stop ruining this! Uh, eternal happiness? No deal! Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to... wait. What? No deal. No. No. How about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure, sure. I promise you know the way. I guess he has to do a certain script for the kill. It's like his rule. It's like he reset the game, per se, to make it more proper. Huh, is this a new dance song? If Mr. Voice scares me again, I'm gonna run and hide in here. Foreshadowing. I have a little hunch that Mr. Voice is the monster in my closet. Okay, I'm just gonna play this game. One last time. Uh, no. Fine. <laughs> was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Ma, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. New game. Knock knock. Who's there? Ma, Evil. I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock knock. Who's there? Evil. You're scaring me, stupid. Leave me alone! Knock knock, who's there? Knock knock, who's there? Glitter! Knock knock, who's there? You know, maybe we should go to the other room and hide, like we thought. Knock knock, who's there? Knock knock, who's there? I'll slow him down. What happened here? My secret spot. He won't find me in there. I'm telling you, the glitter man. The glitter is gonna save the day. Everyone hates glitter. Open this door right now, Miss Fortune. We have a new game to play. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Constantly, teach me how to be brave. So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right. Just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time. And his ugly paintings. Ugh. Anna, you don't talk like that about my Benjamin. 
You know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. Oh, God. You silly little child. Another toy for my collection. I thought you were going to be scary, but you actually kind of like Skeletor. You're mine to play with for eternity. I'm sick of you being a bully. You'll see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No, we made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Yeah. You get here. There's nothing you can do. She belongs to me. Benjamin? <laughs> Holy crap, he is Skeletor. No. No! I feel like you should say, what can you do to me, when the guy has the one thing that he can exactly do something to you. Is everything back to normal now? Benjamin saved me. Benji, are you around? I guess I have to rebuild this. I'll make some improvements. But first, I want to thank Benjamin. Still would've been cooler if we beat it with sparkles. Benjamin, did you go outside? Else is not defeated. Morgo's coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head driving Morgo you mad. Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head driving you mad. Well, what if I miss now one? I know what to call Mr. Voice. Benjamin, where are you? Is it really over? There's no thing here, and the thing's been repaired. We did that earlier. Oh yeah, it was a little foreshadowing, hunting the deer. Or moose or whatever. Horns, see. You still open the October eleventh. Mommy. Yeah, they're wearing masks too. Everyone's wearing masks. Oh, the Mommy. father's gone. I'm back. Mommy, don't ignore me. Are you angry because I couldn't get the happiness for you? What's happening? Mommy? No, we're dead. <laughs> so he said we're the only thing keeping us alive. It must be a bad dream. No, it was Truck Hun. I knew it at the start. Is that? The dad oh, killed no. us. What have I done? I thought I lost you. 
tells you to... What's this? What? What's happening? Ganzo who still don't know they're dead. We need to go? Alright. Looks like Sparkles won't fix this. Take me somewhere else, because I have nothing against it, but I have to talk with my mommy first. Mommy, I'm going to go somewhere else. With Bangi, okay? He's the fox that I like. I'm a little lady, you know? That's what I am. I guess I was your little misfortune for a while. But you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever. Sparkle again. Wait, are things really over? Benjamin? Well, yeah, you can't really talk, can you? You can write, but I guess you can't talk. Hey! Oh, Poppy! I'm oh, so yeah, happy to see you again! Wait for me, Poppy! Oh, no, those are the things from Frambo. I remember those. I guess there's multiple realms. Okay, I said there was like five of them or something. Oh. Why is the music scary for things that should be upbeat? Frambo characters. I think if this was a part, this was an area that you visited early on if we went to the nicer looking place. Oh, this place is really cold. Here, happy here, dog. Oh, it's all the did I get them all. I think I did. So I'm assuming that was the decider for... <laughs> Maybe you like what ending I get? 
All around disasters seem to disappear deep inside the fog you defeat. All them. around disasters seem to disappear deep inside the fog you defeat him. And it's the last one. Huh. I guess Mr. Voice game is over now. Benji? Oh, hi. Who are you? I'm a little lady. Miss Fortune. That's who I am. Lady Miss Fortune? Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. I mean, it looks kind of scary, but it's probably a pretty chill place. A nice soft voice. What is this place? Well, this does confirm if Rambo, the spiritual world and everything, was real. To an extent. Oh, we gave her the happiness to move on. She took off the mask. So that's what we got for unlocking all the little happiness spots. So, that's it for Little Misfortune. So, a little bit different than Frambo. It's got a similar beat where the inherent concept is the same. When you have a girl, uh, I'm not going to reveal some of the plot points of Frambo in case you've never seen it. But you basically have her wandering around, it's a little vague if things are real or not, if things are getting fantastical. With a little bit of horror aspects, with Rambo was a lot of horror aspects, at least initially. This one kind of brings in the horror aspects towards the end. The main difference is, is this one switched over to more of a almost telltale style of adventure game. While Frambo was more of a very strong throwback to like, King's Quest or something like that, like a Sierra adventure game. Both kind of pay tribute to popular culture and their style, not in a low reference way or anything like that, uh, more in a thematic artistic sense. So I can see where some people might be disappointed this is not as much of a traditional adventure game, or maybe they should have gone more towards horror or more towards fantastical. I can see three branches of people who don't like this. But overall, I'm gonna say I like this more than Frambo. Not necessarily for the best reasons, per se. And I don't mean like my opinion's wrong, or something like that. More in the sense of, I do agree, it would have been nice to have a more traditional adventure game. And I do think it takes a couple directorial missteps, like I'll get towards that towards the end. But, this is so much better paced than Frambo, which actually that was one of its worst aspects, it had a huge drag point towards the middle. And I did like how the, the fantastical was a bit merged with the practical a little more. It was a little more seamless here. I would have liked to have seen the, the supernatural a bit more. We had a bit taste towards the end, um, but it, it was kind of sad we didn't see a little more of that, seeing a little more embellishment of like the fox and everything. And the narrator being the, the horror aspect was admittedly pretty fun. And up till up till the very end, it was it was actually involved in a pretty good horror atmosphere, you know, when it was its voice was distorting, it was kind of losing its a little bit of its gentlemanliness. 
uh, the crows start more and more start appearing. It was it was really building it up, and then we get the big we get the big reveal and it. it's Skeletor, and everything just goes out the window, and Skeletor gets blasted just like in the He-Man cartoon. He gets blasted by the the super weapon by the hero, and he's gone. He's like, "Guess you, Benjamin," and maybe that's intentional because this does have a somewhat of a cartoon image despite its horror aspects. But up till you reveal him, he was still a very intimidating figure. So I would have preferred if he was never fully revealed. Kinda like in Heart of Darkness, if you ever played that game. Where... In that one, yes, the big villain was revealed. His physical form was technically there. But they went kinda the opposite, where the true form was more vague and dark. and Literally, quite literally vague and dark. This one, it was vague and dark, and then the true form, Skeletor. So it should just maintain that, like, maybe you should have only seen, like, its hooves, its hands, maybe a glimmer of its, like, head shape, and you just never, you never see the full body. It's just like a nightmare creature, almost. So, a little misstep there, maybe possibly intentional. Uh, and I think some people might not like the kind of black humor that's throughout this game, or they may think it's a little too humorous, but, you know, it's fine. It's, it's, it's what it is. So, overall, perfectly fine kind of interactive adventure game, I guess you would call it. Like I said, I'm gonna edge it over Frambo just because the pacing was very tight. It was very tightly paced, which is good. These games usually drag. Almost every horror game in the last like two years or semi-horror, they've all dragged real bad. Which which doesn't make sense. I, I, I'm assuming that's a... we gotta make people think they get their money's worth and avoid refund time limits and whatnot kind of thing. Uh, but it, it really compromises the quality, because more is not necessarily better, especially for a horror story. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Little Misfortune. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.